Hello folks and welcome back. First off, apologize for my voice. I am definitely under the weather and weather is what we are getting today, that's for sure. So this snowfall is from a snow that we had a few days ago. I did get to drive the Tundra a little bit in that snowstorm and it did really good for the tires that are on it. I didn't expect it to do near as well as what it did. Um, I don't know if I'm going to label this video first time in the snow or not, so if I do, it's actually my second time in the snow. I didn't drive it all that far, but I drove it far enough that it did really well. That snow was really fluffy. This snow is not, and it's turned into slush really quickly. We probably got about an inch, inch and a half of snow, and now it's ice pellets and rain. So that is the worst type of traction you can possibly get. But this thing, I just drove it from the cottage to here and it did really well. I, I like tested it to stop it and see how slippery it was and it just grabbed. So these tires I think might be not too shabby in the snow. I think they're the Michelin X Trail, they're called. Uh, yeah, Michelin, Michelin LTX Trail. And they're small, they're a 265, 70, 18, I think it's like a 32 inch tire or something like that, maybe 32.5 or something. But here it is, a 2024 Tundra, no weight in the bed. Those fuel jugs are empty, I am going to fill them up. But no weight in the bed. Everything is completely factory voted, six and a half foot box, TRD off-road package. It's got like 3,500 kilometers on it already, and I absolutely love this thing so far. So let's uh, let's see how she does. It's gonna keep getting sloppier and sloppier. I'm not going super far, just going to get a few things, but on the highway, a little bit of side road stuff, it's, uh, it's gonna get really crappy really quick. Okay, so to get out of the driveway here, get onto the one side road. Oh, it's got pretty good traction I gotta give it credit you know usually if you guys know me if you're not new to the channel if you've been around a while you know that you know typically I've got pretty high quality all-terrain tires on my trucks and they're, they're a 35 in pretty much every occurrence this truck still has the stock tires on it and uh, the first time it snowed the other day my wife she was like you're not gonna go out are you and I said well I gotta see how this thing does and I was like I said I was really really happy with it uh, obviously the tires on her truck are the same I didn't want her going anywhere until I tested out the tires on my truck to begin with and uh, then I told her I said well they're pretty good but yeah I mean these roads are not good. If you're, if you, any one of you guys that have driven on snow roads, you know that fluffy snow uh, and like some decent amount of snow on the roads is actually better than a dusting like this and then rain or ice pellets. That's when it turns really bad, really quick. But I mean, you, I'm going around turns and everything here. I'm not going crazy fast. I think, what am I doing? doing 60 kilometers an hour right now I do not need to put this thing in the ditch but you know I'm up to 70 80 kilometers an hour and it's uh, it's really good so you know is it the truck is it the tires what is it um, I always found that these tundras the old tundras the Tacomas the forerunners all those vehicles they're just naturally good in the, in in the snow and then you know crappy road situations compared to a lot of other trucks and you know SUVs and whatnot and this one is certainly no different but the tires I think I think the tires are pretty good I don't think they you know for TRD off-road package it would have been nice to have like at least a Falcon Wild Peak AT3W or something like that which those tires are amazing I love those tires um, but this one these tires seem seem pretty good I'm not gonna slam the brakes on going around a turn, but when I cut up towards the highway here, I'll I'll put the brakes on pretty good, and you can see, but there's no sliding going on right now at all. And 
I'm sure in the camera that that looks like bare asphalt, but there's a layer of, of packed snow and ice underneath or on top of that asphalt. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather drive in eight inches of snow than drive on top of this crap, that's for sure. One good thing about the rain right now is it actually makes the truck look clean. Because <laughs> it certainly is not. That's for sure. Highways might be bare. So if the highways are bare, I'm not going to bother recording much of that. But a lot of people, you know, they're... Okay, brakes hard. That's good. Not going super fast, but I was still doing like 60 kilometers an hour, and it just came to a stop. I'll do it again. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, the highways are bare. So this is a two-wheel drive situation. That short little trip down the highway, come back. The roads are now nothing but slush, which is the absolute worst to drive on. There's been a few vehicles out though by the looks of it. Yeah, these are greasy. Unless you grow up on these type of roads, I can tell you. It can get you in a world of hurt pretty quick. Hear the slush flying. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how this truck feels in the on these roads with these, you know, stock tires. I can tell you, it just feels super planted to the road. Greasy. No weight in the bed. Obviously, if there was a bunch of weight in the bed, once I get my fuel cell back there, you know, that will add a bit of weight, but it's up close to the cab, so it doesn't help a ton, but it helps. But, you know, if I was, if I knew I was going on a real long drive somewhere up north or New Brunswick or Cape Breton or something like that, and I was going to be gone for a little while, I'd put a bunch of sandbags or whatever in the back of the truck. Sandbags is always good because if you do get stuck, then you can use the sand to help get you out. But with these trucks, these new Tundras, and they're having no, no recovery points on the front, you don't really want to go in the ditch. I can tell you that. Well, I see some aftermarket bumpers they got out there now that look pretty sweet with uh, with recovery hooks on them. So that's definitely something that I'll I'll look at. We get into some pretty bad situations sometimes with weather out in these type of events. Deploying generators and fueling up generators, removing trees out of roads, and, you know, stuff like that. So, when the weather comes, we're usually not the ones sort of hiding inside their homes or, you know, inside their homes nice and warm and cozy. We're out in this stuff pretty much the whole time. But, I think honestly, in all the years that, that I've been out in this stuff, uh, I think I've only had to get yanked out of the ditch once. And it was it was a lucky situation actually. The tow truck was just passing by. I had a trailer hooked up to me. Actually, I had my 2007 Tundra. And he pulled me out. The other night when I drove this truck in the snow and then the day after, uh, I was in my buddy's 2023, 2023, yeah, I believe so, G40 
GMC Denali with the uh, 1500 GMC Denali Ultimate with the uh, diesel and we went to hockey in his truck and he had brand new winter tires on his truck like top of the line winter tires and it didn't really seem to do that much better than what this truck was doing with the stock wheels but these roads are bad right now really bad like a true dedicated winter tire is definitely the way to go I've always just run um, ATs and my two go-to AT tires are the Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws and the Firestone Destination XTs. Those are my two my two go-to when it comes to winter winter time driving. The XTs are incredible. They've been on my plow truck now for a couple years. Awesome. I had my I had them on my Chev 2500 gas. They were awesome on that. They get great wear. They're a bit cheaper than the Falcons. Man, it'd be nice to have some straight roads, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, these are greasy. Greasy. Still a good stopping. Folks, made it back. Uh, definitely some slipping and sliding there, a little bit at the end on those roads, but I don't think it really matter what tire you had on, you'd be slipping some. Obviously, like I said before, a dedicated winter tire is the way to go or a really good all-terrain, but this tire is, uh, it's impressed me so far, that's for sure. Uh, most of the time when you get these tires on trucks that are stock, they ain't much when it comes to snow, but this one, these ones are pretty good. I got to give them credit. But anyway, just a quick little video, a little update on the truck. Still got the running boards to put on and the hood deflector to put on. Slip tank's going on soon. The bed mat apparently is not going to come for a while because apparently the factory that makes the bed mats got hit, got destroyed in a hurricane. So I was waiting until the bed mat was on to put the slip tank on, but that's not going to happen now. I'm going to have to put the slip tank on and then put the bed mat on later, unfortunately. But that's what it is. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one, folks. Uh, until next time, take care. If you're out in this weather in Nova Scotia today, stay safe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.